Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up person accounts in your Salesforce org. If you don't know what person accounts are, take a look at this other video in the description below that explains what they are and why you might want to use them. So in order to set up person accounts, you need to go into the setup menu in Salesforce. So click the gear in the upper right hand corner, and then you can search for person accounts in the quick find box. Under accounts, you can see we've got a menu item called person accounts. And they've made it a lot easier to set this up before you had to contact Salesforce directly to turn this on for you. But now we've got this wizard or, or set of steps to go through to set it up. So the first thing you need to do is just acknowledge that person accounts cannot be turned off and also how it's going to impact other aspects of your org. So good to read through this just so you understand, but essentially a person account combines an account and a contact record together. So it counts towards storage of both of those objects. And once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. While you can't turn it off, it is possible to just stop using person accounts. It doesn't get rid of business accounts entirely. You can use both together or in the future, you can just stop using person accounts. The next thing we need to do is create accounts record type. So this is the part that might confuse some people. So there's a little sentence here of a description and then a button that says setup. So click that button. It's just a shortcut to the object manager, to the account object, to the record types area. So by default, there's a master record type in the system, but what we need to do is create a record type for business accounts. Because when you create the person account, it's gonna create a new record type for person accounts. And when you go to create a new account generally, you need to have two options. Is this gonna be a business or is this a person? So we need to create that business now so the system can create the person record type later. So click new. Our existing record type is that master one that's hidden. So leave it on the default. And then the record type label business account works just fine. If you wanna change that label and use something that's more specific to your business, you certainly can. But I think business account is a good general one to use. We'll make this available to all of our profiles and then click next. So here you can choose which layout you wanna to apply to this record type. I'm just gonna use our standard account layout. You probably don't have as many page layouts in your system. We'll just go ahead and choose one and you can make it different for different profiles if you want and then hit save. That completes that step. So now we've got a business account record type in our system. If you come back to this person accounts wizard here and hit refresh, you should see that the create accounts record type step should be completed. Next thing we need to do is just make sure that we have the right permissions. So different profiles need to have read permissions to contacts as well as accounts. And here it'll tell you if you've got any profiles that do not have those permissions, and it'll tell you if it's going to block the activation of person accounts or not. In this case, I've got a profile called Authenticated Website. That's not really too big of a problem. They don't have read permissions to contacts, and I don't really want to give them read permissions to contacts. So it's not an issue. This warning is just letting me know that that profile would not be able to see person accounts. And then finally, you need to have org-wide sharing set up properly. Organization-wide sharing is the base level sharing model within your system. And we've got two options here that will work with person accounts. Either the contact object can be set to private or it can be set to controlled by parent. We can have the contact object be public read write because it's not independent of accounts anymore. We're gonna have some person accounts that are a combination of a contact and an account. And it wouldn't make sense for us to give somebody access to the contact level fields, but not the account level fields. So we really need the account to be the controlling entity or they both need to be set to private. We can't have the contact object be set to public read write in this particular case. So if this isn't already green for you, you'll see a button here that's gonna take you to the sharing settings. And let me just show you how to find those since I don't have the button. You can search for sharing in the quick find and it'll pop right up. And then from here, you can hit edit and you can find the contact and the account objects and you can change the internal access. So change that contact from public read write to controlled by parent. If that's set to controlled by parent, then it's the access to the account that controls whether or not you have access to the contact, which would work fine for person accounts. Once that's all green, go ahead and click the enable person accounts button. Now we've got another record type in the system called person account, and we need to make that available to our different profiles. So to grant access to different profiles, give them access to this new record type, 
go to your profiles list and then click into the different profiles that need access to person accounts. In this case, I'll go into system administrator and you can scroll down to the record type area. So here under record type settings, we can see that under accounts, the system administrator only has access to the business account. I'm gonna click edit on that. And then we can add person account here. You don't wanna include master anymore. The master record type's not gonna be used. It's either gonna be business account or person account. And you can set for this profile what you want to be the default. You know, if they're the B2B sales team, business account should be the default. If they're the B2C sales team, then person account and click save. With that last step, that profile now has access to person accounts. So if we come back into Salesforce and I click new account, it's gonna prompt me to choose either a business account or a person account. If you want to customize person accounts further, you can do that from the object manager. Click on object manager and you can search for person account. The record type for person account is managed separately from the regular account object, but this is where you can find the page layouts for it, compact layouts, etc. And that's it. You now have a B2C data model available to you within Salesforce. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit like and click subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.